The truth is that the places where you have wept, where you have suffered, where you have had to find the many inner resources to keep hoping and resisting, are the ones you grow fondest of. Welcome to the Reading Room, Italian Modern Classics and Contemporary Literature. The third episode is dedicated to A Prospect of Ferrara by Giorgio Bassani. Italy was once defined the country with 100 cities. We all have heard or visited Rome, Venice, Florence, Naples, but many other cities, each of them with a specific character, are scattered on the Italian peninsula. Giorgio Bassani is the writer who put Ferrara on the map. All his works are set here, like the five short stories in Cinque Storie Ferraresi, A Prospect of Ferrara, published in 1956. These stories are about a young woman who is abandoned by her husband, a Jewish doctor who marries a low-class nurse, a man who has survived concentration camp and unexpectedly comes back home, and a pharmacist who perhaps has witnessed the killing of some partisans during the war. However, the protagonist of the book is the city and its ancient walls. Ferrara is depicted like a small microcosm, where Christians used to live together with Jews, where poor workers live not far from healthy bourgeois, and fascists live next door with anti-fascists. Giorgio Bassani was born in Bologna in 1916, but grew up in Ferrara and lived there until 1945. Because of his Jewish origin, he had to flee the city and join the resistance. After the war, he moved to Rome, but never stopped writing about his beloved Ferrara. A Prospect of Ferrara was published in Sweden in 2020 by the publishing house Modernista, translated by Johanna Hedenberg with the title Innanför Stadsmuren. Did you know that From the 14th century until today, the walls of Ferrara have marked the border between the stunning Renaissance city centre and the countryside around it. These 9 kilometers of walls are some of the most well-preserved in Europe. Thank you for listening to The Reading Room. Our literary journey through Italy will continue next month with Donatella di Pietrantonius, A Girl Returned.